Hey guys, today I want to show you some new brushes I got. Uh, I got some from Nabla and uh, some from MAC, which I got free with an order. So I'm going to do a little eyeshadow tutorial and show you how the brushes perform. And first I'm going to show you the Nabla brushes. They came in this uh, beautiful little pouch here with the uh, glitters. Got a little bit of a rough, rough um, leathery feel. And uh, the brushes came in here with um, some, they had these covers on it. I guess they can be good if you're going to wash the brushes and then store them upside down so the water doesn't uh, affect the glue inside. So then I guess you can use uh, those over the brushes to protect them and make them keep their shape while you dry them. And I'm just going to show you each brush now from this set. I'm going to start with this one. It's the N302. It's a large blender brush. Has a little bit of a slanted shape here. I guess it would be good for highlighting, but you can also use it in the crease. For my eyes, I think it may be a little bit big, but I'll try to make use of this too on the eyes. And then we have this more of a flat shader brush or packing brush. This is the N301. It's a little bit of a fluffy packing brush, I feel like. And um, they all have this beautiful like purple color and this uh, kind of textured gold uh, thing here. They also had a red set, uh, eyeshadow brush set, and uh, then a face brush set, which was uh, more of a turquoise color. But I decided to get this set because I thought uh, I have many eyeshadow brushes, but I just wanted to try these out, so I bought the smaller eyeshadow set. So that's this brush. And then the next brush is this small little shading brush or you can just put some like in the inner corner some sh uh, shadow here or it, it would perhaps be good for just shading underneath the eye or just if you want to do some line work too and um, this is the N201 just a really small little brush and then the next brush is this kind of a sh uh, blending brush it's a little bit small but it it's very soft and it has this blending shape. I guess it would be really good for my eyes because I don't have huge eyelids or big eyelids. So it would be good to create a crease in here, I guess. So that's the N203. And then the next brush is this kind of unique brush. It has a um, really special shape. It's also a little bit slanted on one side. I can you see here, but it's flat on the other side. I guess it could be good for just blending shades up uh, under the eyebrow and a little bit downwards towards the crease. And this is the N202. And then we have a little bit of a smaller packing brush. This has a very flat defined um, brush tip and uh, it is a little bit like pointed upwards here and this is the N101 so that's the Nabla brushes and uh, then I'll show you the two MAC brushes I got which is this 275S it's also a kind of a slanted um, slanted um, shader brush or blending brush I guess you can use it for both it's very soft like the Nabla brushes was also real soft and then the next MAC brush is this one it's the 133S it's a really soft brush this too but it's a little bit more like dense and um, I guess it would be good for either packing on highlighter or contouring around the nose or cheekbones or it could also be good I guess for putting on uh, 
powder under the eyes or like on the corners of the nose here but then I will just uh, try to do an eyeshadow look for you and I'm going to use uh, mostly this palette it's a little palette from uh, MAC from an old collection by Padma Lakshmi and then I'm going to use a little bit of this Too Faced palette just to maybe go into the more of the deeper shades here like this one and this one or yeah we'll see but I'm going to use those two palettes so I'm just going to zoom you guys a little bit in so I'm going to start by using the light shade here and I'm gonna pick that up on the Nabla brush that I showed you that was a little bit uniquely shaped it's the one no no N202 brush So it's really soft brush. I heard it was supposed to mimic real hairs, but it's not real hairs, it's just synthetic hairs. Of course. So I feel like it picks up a good amount of color. color is uh, pretty soft so you see it's just a little bit of a mauve pinky tone that I'm going to like put almost all over my eyelid I'm trying to just make the blend really soft and pretty up here by the brow bulb I'm also going to take a little bit of that shade and just turn the brush around a little bit so I'm using the straight side and just on the tip here I'm going to put that underneath the eyes And then I'm going to take the like the smaller blending brush from Nabla, the N203. I'm gonna go into this more like a more color here. Just putting that in the crease. So far I think these brushes are performing pretty good. The only thing I would say is that it they feel a little bit thin. Uh, like the it's not too much of dense of a dense brush, but neither was the other one. But I still think it performs really good for blending. I do like both dance brushes and uh, more of a fluffy like loose hair brushes because or not loose hair but you get what I mean just uh, less of a dance brushes I like both for different uses but I think uh, this one can uh, they can they can both uh, both types of brushes can perform nicely to like uh, blend in the crease but I do think this brush perform really good so far and it's small so for me it's easy to work with because I can get into like the outer corners and just get a little bit of a more color payoff here instead of like putting on too much or getting the shadow on a bigger area
really easily blend the shadow here in the corners which I really love because most blending brushes are a little bit big for my eyes so just put that a little bit also corners here just to connect it a little bit And then I'll just go into a little bit more of a deeper shade and for that I think I'll blend these two shades here this one and this one from the toothpaste palette they're called cuddle buddy and daddy's love me such cute names <laughs> this palette from toothpaste is pretty good I like the colors and uh, how they perform so I'm just deepening up a little bit in the outer corners now. A little bit more of a red, deeper reddish brown shade. the fluffy brush here and I'll take the it's a little bit fluffer, fluffy shading brush the one from Nabla it's the N301 and then I'll use this uh, light green color in this um, Padma Lakshmi palette from MAC this palette is also really good by the way and I'll just pick up that green shade and like I always do I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of water so I don't get so much followed and then I'm just going to put that on the inner corners and drag it onto the eyelid like this I'm gonna do the same thing again, just picking up more shadow, spraying it. Then I'm just going to clean that brush off a little bit and I use that same brush to pick up more of the uh, these two colors I'm going to blend those and then blend that into the green a little bit going to pick up the smaller Nabla brush, the flat brush, it's the N101 and I'm going to pick up more of the green shade, spraying it and then just going over a little bit again. then I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go into the lightest shade in the Too Faced palette this white one it's called puppy eyes 
a bit of a glittery shade, but I'll try to make it work. I just spray that again so I don't get so much fallout. And I'm going to put that in the most inner corner here. Also on this side. I'm also going to take a little bit more, spray it again. And I'm going to go under the eyes a little bit too with this. Just a tiny amount. Right here. And here. I'll also put this shade a little bit on the brow bone here. Like that. And then I'm going to use a pencil. I've got this um, gosh pencil, it's a light green color, and I'm going to use that inside the waterline. It mostly just gives up a little bit of a green sheen, it's nothing very extremely colorful or anything. I'm also going to use that a little bit on the lower line here and then I'm going to take this kind of um, it's a mix between gold and green very light light sage green I would say I'm just going to sharpen it a little bit this color here it's called Isadora eye light contour limelight is called so I'll just put that too a little bit in the inner corners here and then I think I'll take this one. This is more of a glittery pencil and it's called the Isadora Twist Up Metallic Eye Pen in Golden Khaki. I need to sharpen these two actually, but just wait until after this. And I'll just take this one a little bit here. It's very shiny as you can see. Then I'll just take the small brush from Nabla, little small pointy brush, it's the M201, and I'll just blend that out with that. Take the flat brush again. Now take up more of the green uh, color in the Padma Lakshmi palette. And I'm just going to pat a little bit over again. Like that. And then I think we're pretty much done. I'm just going to use this MAC brush to like brush up the fallout now. And this also feels really soft. And then I'm going to put on some more eyeliner and I'm going to use the Lash Domination by Bare Minerals. I need to look in the mirror a little bit now. But I like to look downwards and just use the mirror to um, look from below to see where I put the eyeliner. I 
I'm gonna go to put on some mascara. I'm going to use the MAC mascara. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Um, let's see. It's just, uh, it has this kind of shape. They just have one type like this. So I guess you can find it if you want. This mascara is very good, but it's almost empty now, so it won't, won't perform as well as it did in the beginning, but I'm still going to use it till it's all emptied up. So that's the mascara. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows. And for that, I'm just going to use my regular little Makeup Mecca brow pot in dark brown. And I'm going to use my eyebrow brush, also from the same brand. My brows are not the same. This one is like uh, they begin shorter here. They are shorter here. This one goes a little bit further out, so it make them look similar. That's just uh, how I do my brows. And then I take a little bit of brow gel. It's just a simple little brow gel like this. this little tube and this little brush here and I just calm them as I want them to be calmed calmed a little bit upwards here I kind of try to follow the how the hairs naturally goes like they goes a little they go a little bit down like this and up works here so that's the brows then I'm going to zoom you out again and I'm going to put on some blush and highlighter I think I'll use this MAC blush from an old collection and I'll use this fluffy brush from Echo Tools, like I always like to do for my blushes. I'm just uh, going to swirl the two shades together. It's a little bit of a peachy one and a more pinky shade. Do you like to put a little bit of color all over so that it looks a little bit natural? Maybe you can see it better now. I had the ring lights on, so that's off now. And then I'll put on a highlighter. And for that, I'm going to use this MAC highlighter today. Is the shade Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish is called and it was from this special collection I don't remember what it's called but I think it was Lunar Illusions or something like that but it has this had uh, this beautiful dragon design inside it's kind of destroyed now because I used it a lot but it was really gorgeous when it was uh, new if you visit my Instagram account you can see the picture from when it was new And my Instagram name is just the same as my YouTube name. So then I'll just use this MAC brush that I got, uh, the 133S. And I'll take up the highlighter. And just put that here. Seems to be working great you guys a little bit in 
I think this brush is, it seems really great for highlight. It's dense enough, puts on a good amount of highlight. Yeah, it looks really nice. And it's not too fluffy so it doesn't make the powder like fall everywhere just uh, puts it in the place you want I usually go a little bit here on the sides too and then I put a little bit of highlight on the bridge of my nose just on top here maybe a little bit on top of the, the nose here and then a tiny bit on the forehead and a little bit on the cheek as well like that and then I think the makeup look is pretty much done I will just put on some spray some setting spray and for that I use the Revolution Matte Fix I like to have a kind of a matte look to my face, not too glowy, so I think that's a great um, fixing spray. So overall, I uh, am going to give you my thoughts about the brushes now. Overall, I think they are good brushes, all of them, I liked all of them. And the Nabla brushes, I really thought performed very good. Uh, they are soft and they're good. I do think I can get uh, good quality brushes for a cheaper price. Like I have many brushes that perform similarly to these ones. But I do think they're very beautiful, the design. And I think the brushes are really soft. And also they have some unique shapes to them. Like this one. And I like that they're a little bit small. Some of them are a little bit small so they can fit to smaller eyelids and eye shapes. Like this one, it's a good blender brush if you just want a small blending brush that can uh, make the job easy for you. And uh, if you have a little bit small eyelids like I do, or more hooded eyes, so that would be nice for that. And um, I also like this uh, small pat patting brush or to pack on color packing brush, I guess it's called, and uh, this tiny brush here. So. I don't know really how I feel so much about this one because I feel like it's a little bit flimsy but other than that it's good to use I guess if you want to if you have bigger eyelids I guess this one would be good for blending in a crease and also like if you want to put on highlights um, maybe contouring too on the nose and stuff so overall I'm happy with these brushes I think they're a good addition to my collection of eyeshadow brushes and also the MAC brushes I really liked. I didn't try out this one, but I could really feel that it's a nice brush. It's really soft and it would be good for putting shadow in the crease also. And this brush was really good for putting on highlighter, I think. I really liked it for that. So I'm really happy with all the brushes. And that was my finished review. I hope you liked it and uh, that it was uh, useful to you. And I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.